Hi everyone, my name is Shivani. I'm a content creator and YouTuber for Pen My Blog. So today we're going to be creating this beautiful romantic look together with my info channel. And you guys, this collection here from Holika Holika is absolutely beautiful. This one is from the Love Who You Are collection. And guys, just I want to reveal the palette, but at the start, let's start off with the base first because that is of utmost importance. I will show you this one later. And we're going to start off with the BB Cream Glow from Holika Holika. So especially in this day and age during the pandemic, we all want something very natural, very effortless when it comes to our makeup because we don't want something heavy and then we go out and then we have to come back and wash up all over again, right? So this one is a BB Cream Glow by Holika Holika and this one gives a very natural, easy uh, to blend kind of finish and it also gives a very glowy kind of look as it states in its description. So I'm going to show you guys how the formulation works. This one comes in one tone so you can kind of like tone it up if you don't feel like you want to put on a full face of foundation. This is really great to use on a daily basis where you can just easily take a little bit, blend it over the areas where you want to cover up any imperfections and then you can just go about and hit out your day. So as you guys can see, I have blended out the finish over here and you can see that it adheres to my skin tone quite well and it also gives a very luminous finish, not that very blingy kind of glow but a more natural looking. For me personally, I like this kind of finish because on the day out, I would like to see my skin looking healthy and bright and that's exactly what this product is. So next up, we are going to go in with the brows and for this one, as you guys can see, my brows are very, very thick. But today, I want to create a more feathered kind of look. So I'm going to be going in with a slightly different shade and this is going to create a dimension to see that the brows are full and filled. So this one is the Wonder Drawing 24 Hour um, Auto Eyebrow. As you guys can see from the length, there is a lot of product inside here. But just to prove a point, I'm going to open it up and show you guys. I feel like with this kind of um, formulation and with this kind of brow pencil, you can definitely use it like maybe six months to a year. If you use it sparingly, you can use it up to a year. And this one has a very uh, effortless uh, blendability as well, which is what I like when it comes to my brows because I don't know if you guys can see, my eyebrows are full, but there are some areas of my brow that needs a little bit more filling in. So a little trick that I like to do, I like to go in with a different shade and then I like to blend the darkness of my brows together with a lighter shade to create a beautiful dimension. So I'm going to quickly do that now and as you guys can see there's also a spoolie here so it's kind of like a two-in-one. Okay, now the reason why I like doing this is because a lot of the times you have to think about the shadowing of makeup. So not necessarily all the lights are going to be like bam in your face, right? But at the same time, whenever you look down, the bottom part of your eyebrow tends to look a little bit darker and sometimes it can make you look a little bit fierce. So for me in particular, whenever I try to create a natural brow, I always do this effect where I play with two color tones and then I blend them together so it doesn't look too dark or too black because sometimes if you go in with a super dark pencil, you are going to look really fierce and it's going to make your eyebrows look really thick. So you don't want that. So that's what you do. You mix the both colors together and it looks absolutely beautiful. So now is the time you guys have been waiting for. We are going to be play, playing with this beautiful eyeshadow palette. And, and you guys, it comes in nine beautiful shades. And just look at that. So you have your shimmers, you have your matte. You even have a little bit of a metallic here, which is a nice touch to it too. And this is the perfect natural palette because a lot of the times when you're playing with neutral tones and you want something that's very natural, you go with either pink or you go with either brown tones and you have a good mixture of all of this. So I'm going to be creating a very easy, effortless, straightforward look for you guys together with this palette. So let's get started. So usually when you blend these two colours together, I like going in with a clean brush and this one actually takes the colour, both colours, and blend it really well and it also lifts it up to the brow bone because for me especially if you have hooded eyes you don't want the pigmentation to stop just here because it doesn't look natural it's going to look very harsh so that by taking the clean brush and just pressing a little bit of the color to the top it kind of creates a fade so that's what you want to do and then just in case if you want to put a little bit of a glow like i will show you guys later it will look very natural as well and it just won't look like a color like being separated from the rest so 
that's what you have. But if you are playing with matte shadows, this is going to be the finish. And I have to say, in terms of pigmentation, I am very, very impressed with this one. So alright you guys, now that my top lid is done with the matte shades, I'm going to be going in with the under eye as well. So I'm going to be taking the two same shades, which is the pink and the brown, and I'm going to be mixing them together to create a very nice fade. So for the um, under eye here, um, you want to be a little bit careful because too much of it can make you look a bit like someone socked you in the face, which is what we don't want. So by taking a more like tapered small brush, you just want to go in with the lighter shade first and just create that blend. Don't go in too harsh or else it's gonna make you look, like I said, someone soft you in the face. And we do not want that. And then you want to basically connect the bottom part here to the top. So it looks like a very natural kind of finish. And the reason why we go in with the lighter shade first is because this is also going to uh, mirror at the bottom of the darker shade. I'm gonna show you in a second. So I'm going to take the same brush, the darker shade is going to go on top. So you can see like the light pink is still mirroring at the bottom as well. So you have a good mixture of both colours. And also if you guys are like me and you want to go a little bit extra on the glam, I'm going to be taking this beautiful glittery shadow. This one is like with opal glitters. And you can see that the shadows are quite vibrant in itself. So the glitters are actually quite big in this one. Not so big, but it's big enough to be visible. And I'm going to be taking a little bit, tap off any excess, and I'm just going to put that on the outer corner of my lid and dragging a little bit on the inside to create a very natural fade. There you go. So okay guys, now I have my lashes on because I wanted a little bit of oomph. But at the same time, you can see underneath here that I didn't put any mascara. So a trick that I like to do with this is I like to go in with an eyeliner. This is the Magic Pole Eyeliner 2 times by um, Holika Holika. And this one has a very interesting touch to it because it's kind of like in the shape of a pen, but you have like the ballpoint over here and it's super cool. And if you're like me, you don't like to wear like too much mascara, you don't want it clumping, Here's a trick. For those of you who have teary eyes, just beware. This might not be for you, but you can always colour like the outer ones. I like going in underneath here. Just very lightly, just to blend my lashes together with the fake lashes. And then you can see a more seamless line with it. This one is the one that I did with the eyeliner. And then this one is the one without. So next up, since we have the eyeliner done, the fake lashes on, now I'm going to be going in with the Lash Correcting Mascara. And you guys, the colour on this is not what you expect. It's not a typical black. It's a brown. And if you want very neutral lashes, and let's just say you don't want to be looking like a peacock with your bottom lashes all being flat out, right? So you're going to use this one. And this one comes in a tube, which is, for me, it's very nice because I feel like whenever I need additional pigment, I can just press a little bit and then I can take the formulation out. For me, whenever I try out something new, I like going in with my bottom lashes because I feel when the mascara shows, that's when I know it really works. And this one is super lengthening. It's very voluminous. So let's see how it goes. So the bristles for this one is a little bit thick. So what you want to do in terms of application is that you want to start from the root and then you want to zigzag it down. So in a way, you're kind of pulling the formulation down for an even distribution. So in terms of application, that's what you want to do. I've been saving the best for last and this is the Crystal Crush lipstick. And this is the lipstick color in Maroon Flame. And you guys, this is the most beautiful lipstick I have ever seen in my entire life. And it has a kind of like a glitter sheen to it. So it's kind of like a mixture of gold and red. You know, the whole posh scene. So I'm going to be applying this directly to my lips. And we are going to see how the pigmentation plays out. Hold on, hold on. I'm excited now. Okay, you guys. This formulation though, it's so comfortable. And this is a very like a dark red. Um, initially, I thought there was going to be glitters on it, but I think this one is a uh, slight overspray. But in a way, it's kind of cool because the pigmentation really came out with this one. And it's so comfortable. I did not feel like the formulation was heavy on my lips. And I was able to blend everything out and even the precision, especially on my top lip, I always like to overline it a little bit. And this one did the job splendidly. So 
So right you guys, that is it for the romantic look and makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. In the meantime, thank you so much for tuning in to the My Evo channel. I hope um, this video brought you guys a little bit of joy. And as well, if you want to follow us on the social media links, you can also follow us on this channel and subscribe, notify and ring the bell as well as on Instagram at myipo.official as well. And in the meantime, if you want to keep in touch with me as well, I am Shivani at PenMyBlog. You can find my handle as well. But in the meantime, do stay safe and I hope everyone has a great week. Bye!